Hello everyone, this is Amit Dhan of AmitDhan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Internet Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how you can use internet anywhere you go. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always turning you in different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more tips and tricks videos, there will be links in the description box below. So when you're traveling and when you're just, you know, uh, going outside of your own network, then you can easily top up your internet or network just by purchasing an eSIM card. So an eSIM card is basically an, an electronic or embedded SIM card, which is not a physical SIM card. And you can apply to your phone by various eSIM providers. Now, in order to uh, have an eSIM card on your phone, your phone has to be compatible. And most of the newer phones are, but uh, most of the eSIM card providers have a list on their websites uh, to tell you whether your phone is going to be compatible or not. So before you actually purchase any eSIM card, uh, I would recommend you to you know, uh, check with your uh, eSIM card provider and see whether you can actually install eSIM card on your phone. So today I'm going to purchase and install eSIM card on my phone for the first time and I'm going to show you the whole process. And let's start with uh, installing eSIM card. So there are many eSIM providers and after doing my research, I found out that these three are to be, uh, you know, most reasonable eSIM card providers, but, uh, you know, do your own research. By, according to my research, I found out that Air Allo, Flexirum, and Holafly, they offered the best deals. Now, not all of them are the same. So, for example, I found out that if you are going to Asia, uh, that Air Allo looks like, you know, has the best deals. And if you're going to Egypt, then it looks like Flexirum has the best deal. And within like, you know, US and Canada, it looks like Holafly, actually, I'm sorry, I wrote it long, it should be Holafly has the best deal. So you have to do your research and, you know, find out that which one has the best deal. And then you can easily install eSIM card on your phone if it's compatible. So in order, the first thing you're going to be needing is uh, an eSIM app installed on your phone. So I picked uh, Air Allo uh, and then I already installed the phone on my app and I opened an account and then once I open the app it looks like this way and you can see that you know I have the option to purchase eSIM card from directly for uh, from my phone or if uh, your eSIM card provider does not allow that then you can also purchase eSIM card from their website but today I'm going to purchase eSIM card from my phone and we'll install it and see if this works uh, and I'm going to be using for upcoming trip in the Canadian cottage country which is coming up within the next couple of days So just, I just wanted to have a different provider because my own provider doesn't have you know Network or signal in that place where I'm going to so I'm going to choose Canada from the list So let's click on it and then you can see that they have a different options here So for example one gig is uh, 750 US and three gig is going to be 1750 US and then they're like, you know, 5 gig, 10 gig. So this is for the first time. So I'm just going to, you know, test it with the 3 gig first. I don't want to purchase too much in case it doesn't work. So I'm just going to click here by now. And already I have an account and I have uh, logged into uh, the app using my user ID and password. So now they're saying that, you know, I can uh, top up the plan later on. So what it means that, you know, if I purchase the SIM and I run out of, uh, you know, uh, data uh, in the future, then I can top up. I don't have to reinstall the SIM again. So for now, I'm just going to buy, let's say, the 1750 US. So I'm click here, buy now. And then uh, I don't have to go to my uh, computer to buy. It looks like the app is giving me the option to buy, but your eSIM provider may not have that option. So it all depends. So here it looks like asking me to complete the order uh, via Google Pay. So I'm just going to, you know, click complete the order and see what happens. So I'm going to press here and looks like it's trying to purchase. So we're just going to wait and see what happens. Okay, so now I'm getting this message. Uh, it's just giving me the credit card so to ask me whether this is my credit card. So I'm just going to hit continue. So it looks like it's working. So I'm just going to wait and see if this goes through. And if it goes through, I think I'm going to get an, like, you know, some kind of barcode or something to scan 
in the email, but we'll see how it works. Okay, so it says here, order complete. So it looks like I purchased the eSIM card and they sent a validation or confirmation receipt to my email address and they have the order number. So now let's go back to the store and let's see how I can install it now, the eSIM card. So I'm going to go to my eSIM card and let's see what I get here. Okay, so it looks like you know I'm getting the card I just purchased so now the thing is I have to uh, install it and I don't see it's giving me any option here so I'm just going to you know check my email and see if I get that option um, in my email so I'm just going to open up my email and look, looks like they sent a receipt and it's just giving the information order summary now here you can see that it's giving you install eSIM card and I'm just going to click here so let's click here and see what happens okay so here I'm getting a message uh, most eSIM can only be installed once if you remove the eSIM card from your device you cannot install it again so that means that you know if you are removing it from your device you're gonna to have to just purchase again that eSIM card is finished so it's like you know uh, just a physical SIM card so I'm just going to click here install here and it looks like it's giving me even the data uses so I have like you know three gig and I used nothing and it it is going to expire in 30 days so I'm just going to hit install eSIM card right here so let's do that So it's giving me some uh, like you know uh, information do not interruption do not remove complete all the steps okay so i got it i'm just going to click here and here it says visit the imp inf uh, important tips and tutorial okay so i'm just going to hit next choose your preferred eSIM installation method let's go to next install your eSIM by completing all the steps carefully next secondly access data by completing all the steps next so it looks like it's just giving me a tutorial so you know I don't want the tutorial now it's telling me that I have the Rogers network which is right here that's going to be the network via the eSIM I just purchased and then APN is set automatically and data roaming is on so what happens if your APN is not set automatically then you have to set it manually and uh, there are instructions on the website so I don't have to do anything of that so it's just giving you the settings so you have to go to like in your settings and then connect manually to the supported network turn on eSIM under mobile network enable the mobile data turn on the data roaming so, okay so I'm just going to go to settings and let's see what happens here so this is my own sim and i'm just going to see if there's any anything else in here so i don't see anything looks like i'm going to have to click here choose network so if i just click here okay i see nothing is happening okay so i was just thinking that you know i'm just going to get the sim card right here but it looks like it's not working so i'm just going to go back to the page and read it again go to network and tap on the mobile network connect manually eSIM under mobile network okay so let's go back to network and tap mobile network so I'm just going to you know go to network from here and see what happens so let's go here and then internet and network and then you see there's a plus sign right here so I'm going to just click on here and see if this works so plus sign here connect to a mobile network so it looks like we're on the same page download a sim instead so yes so I'm just going to add a number so I'm going to click here okay so I don't know it's not letting me click here okay so right now I click there it looks like I had an option to click there and it says download your sim card connect to mobile network and then download your sim card okay let's see if i can click here i don't think it downloaded anything but i'm going to click next and see if it you know works that way scan the qr code from network 
Okay, so now what's happening here, it's asking you to scan the code you got. So you can do that by either emailing yourself the scan code on a different device, or you can kind of like, you know, uh, take a picture or print a picture and scan it. So I'm just going to email myself the barcode or QR code I received, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, scan that and see if this works. Hello everyone. So what happens, it took me a while to figure out where I would get the QR code because it didn't show up in the email. So when I went to uh, the account which is ARLO on a separate computer, then I found out what happens. So you have to go to my eSIM card or my eSIM tab which is right here. And then if you click on details which is going to be right here. And then here you're going to get the QR code. So for example, just going to give you a like you know warning message and stuff and then what happens you're going to see eSIM installation for Android device which is right here or iOS device so if I just click on uh, Android device then here you're going to see your QR code so now even it has an option to share the QR code if you'd like to email yourself or send it to another device but I'm just going to uh, scan it because I have the phone ready so I'm just going to put the phone you know like this here and you can see right away that air LO number is available for this device okay so what I'm going to do uh, let me just move this computer a little bit and I'm going to bring this little closer so now once I scan the QR code it's just giving me that message right away that you know I have that SIM card available then I'm going to hit download which is right here and let's see what happens so it mentions that it's going to take a few minutes so I'll just wait okay so download finished and it mentions here that go to settings and turn on the sim so if I go to settings and here is giving me my regular uh, mobile network and then here is giving me the air allo inactive so I'm just click here and then I have to just you know press this here use sim turn on air allo and I'm just going to click on there and then looks like it's trying to catch the network and see what happens here okay now I have this message select a sim for data freedom or air allo so right now I'm going to select air allo and it looks like it's active so here what's happening that calls are still coming through my regular network which is freedom but the data is coming through the air allo and here access data using mobile network which is on now the roaming is going to be it's off right now but you know um, I have to turn on the roaming because it's going to use air allo and that's the point of purchasing the data so I'm just going to click this on and I'm going to click here uh, automatically select so if I'm not mistaken I should have the sim installed right now and it should work right now so let me just take a look here and see what happens here okay so I have Wi-Fi on so I'm just going to turn this off so Wi-Fi off but here it says air allo no connection so that part I'm not sure why it's not getting connected so let me just turn off and turn on and it says no connection so if I click here okay I don't think anything's happening but let's see I'm going to go back to settings again and see why it's not working so mobile data on roaming on calls preferred and use sim so looks like I have everything on but it's still somehow I don't know why 
seems to be not working. So I'm going to see here. Here you can see that freedom is default for call ASM, SMS, and air allow for default for mobile data. Hi guys. So I figured out how it works. So it's a little bit uh, complicated, or not actually complicated. They don't mention clearly, but what you have to do, you cannot have this button on. So where it says automatically select network, you have to turn it off. And then you have to click here, choose network. So if you click here, and then it's going to give you all the signals. And then, for example, uh, let me just see where it is. So when I clicked here, then it gave me a bunch of signals and it had just Rogers, Freedom, Telus, and Bell. Now, I know that uh, Air Allo uses Rogers because that's what I read on the uh, on their app uh, or on the website. It mentioned that, you know, in Canada, they use this Rogers. So I clicked on Rogers, and then what happened, it connected to the internet right away. And you can see right here that wireless Air Allo, and then you can see that it's, it's telling you that this is Rogers, and the roaming is on. So... It is using Rogers via Air Allo, and then I have I got the signal. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just do a quick uh, speed test to see what type of speed I'm getting, and then uh, it will you know give us an idea whether we're getting good good speed or not. So here I have the speed test uh, application. So I'll just like you know click here, and it's trying to. Uh, measure the speed and let's see what we come up with not bad okay so you just had the download now let's check the upload looks like upload is a lot better than download so okay so here we have the speed uh, download 6 mbps and upload 23 mbps which is not that great speed so I'm just going to test again and see what happens Okay, so it doesn't look like, you know, it's going to get better. So, it looks like it's even, even getting worse. So, I'm just going to, you know, uh, stop it right here. And what I'm going to do, I'll just go to here, where you can choose your network. And you can see that I have, uh, I'm connected to Rogers. And then I got Freedom here, and I got Telus and Bell. Sometimes uh, you can get two different signals from the same network, and one usually have higher speed than the other one. So I'm just trying to see if I get another Roger. So I do have another Rogers, but this is 3G, and the one I'm connected to 4G. So definitely 3G is going to be lower speed than 4G. But just to find out i'm just going to connect to 3g and let's see if it works uh, you never know you might get more speed at 3g so it looks like it even got connected so i'm just going to go back to the uh, speed test again and see if what type of speed we get here so we had six mbps last time uh, and three after that but now let's try again and see if 3g actually is giving you more speed than 4g via rogers air allo Okay, no, actually it's giving a lot less, so definitely 4G is better. Okay, so I'll just, you know, uh, connect it back to the 4G later on. So basically that's how you connect your eSIM card, that's how you install your eSIM card for an Android phone, or this is specifically a Google Pixel phone, but uh, the procedure or process is going to be pretty much the same one big advantage having an eSIM card is that uh, you can install eSIM card before even you leave for your destination uh, in your home country so when you arrive at the destination you don't have to uh, search for a store to buy a local SIM card and also I find it not safe to leave my you know passport photocopy or personal information with everywhere I buy uh, a SIM card 
in a destination country. So I'd rather have an eSIM card installed uh, on my device before even I leave my country. So this feature is very good for travelers, especially when you want to have network right at the airport, even before leaving the airport at the destination country. And if you have come so far, I'm going to put a link uh, right on the screen for the next video. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.